up. <laughs> what is that? What? Oh, it wouldn't be that by any chance. Oh, the buzz. The buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there guys and welcome back to yet another one with us, the Review Bros, the most trusted review site on the internet. <laughs> what do we have today, Craig, for the audience? We are buzzing to review this. It's called The Buzz. Who sent us it, Aaron? A big thank you to Supplements Chester for sending it down. They are a UK retail store. They do have a website. They manufactured this product. We are excited to get into it. All the usuals, guys, as we move through the taste, the price, the label, and most importantly, the goddamn effects of this product. Is it gonna be the next product you pick up? Stay tuned for this one, guys. Drop comments below, all the good stuff. Is it worth the buzz? If you could subscribe, you know, we'd massively appreciate that too. Tick the bell icon, all the usuals. Cheers, guys. It's time for the taste and the mixability of the product, and you'll be happy to know it comes in just the one flavor for ease of this review. What is it, Craig? Rainbow Sorbet. Does look very nice. It right? does smell nice too, I must admit. Yeah, really. So um we're hoping for good stuff here. High hopes. Give it an, a little a little rounded scoop. There's one particular ingredient in here that is a bit of a worry. Yeah, we'll get into that in the label section, guys. Yeah. As you can see, little colouring or no colouring, which is a good, good start for some of you guys out there who care about that sort of thing. Yeah. Um so yeah, let's do it. <coughs> There it is, unmixed. And we're gonna give it a mix. <laughs> <laughs> Strong in the air. Mm. There we go, we got a very minimal amount of frothing. And we do have a, a little bit on the bottom there. Can you yeah, see that? minimal. Nothing major though. It's not Nothing the major at cream, all. So. There you go, for comparativeness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see, let's see how this one tastes. Rainbow sorbet going down, guys. Mm. Yeah, it's all right. Mm, that's nice. Yeah, not bad at all. Definitely got the sorbet undertone there. Mm. Which is quite hard to achieve, I'd imagine. It's quite, I want to say quite subtle, but not like, yeah. not overpowering like some of these candy sorbet rainbow things can yeah. be. It's not like excessively tart or sour. Actually really reminds me of the rainbow candy that was just in the limited edition cracked gold, but slightly weaker version of it, which mm. is not a bad thing because that was a bit overpowering. This is very sweet. Yeah. It's not sour, it's not bitter. There's no negative aftertones, no medicinal um, additions to the end of it. Mm. Yeah, exactly. It's more drinkable, isn't it? Yeah. So there's no stress in Quite refreshing. It. Yeah. Quite nice. Some ice cubes in there make it, you know, an 11 out of 10 perhaps. Mm. <laughs> what are we thinking out of 10? Let's do it. The old usual, free two, one, nine, nine, nine out, out of 10. ten. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's very good. good. Yeah. Very good. No complaints as we move into the price. We move into that price and priceability section where you can get hold of this at supplementschester.co.uk for £36.99. pence. I can tell you guys, you do get 25 full clinical servings from this container. And I can tell you when we divide that up by that 25 servings, it comes in at a pound and 48 pence per go. Now you guys know the drill. We have a consistent scale that compares pre-workouts, not just from the UK, not just from America, but from across the entire world. And I can tell you, on our scale, this lands in a five out of 10. So slap, bang, average in the middle for today's pre-workout caliber. Is it gonna be worth that five out of 10 as we move into the most important sections? The label, then most importantly, the effects of this product. It's label time. Johnny. <laughs> and it is a 12 gram serving size. We got citrulline, L citrulline in brackets. Don't ask me why, four grams. A reasonable dose, guys. It's gonna give you that pumps, those nitro oxide reductions, the blood flow benefits, the vasodilation. Good start. Nice, beta only follows at 3.2 grams. Clinical dosage for those itchy, tingly, almost allergic feeling reaction you get after taking a pre-workout. And once it's built up in the system, it will help you with endurance in the gym. Big fans of that. Then into taurine, L taurine in brackets, one gram. A respectable dose for pumps, hydration, and has been shown to have some 
uh, nootropic benefit for focus. Norway extending to Agmatine and Sulfate as Agmas, the registered version, one gram. Going to work well with the L-citrine at the beginning there, again, to boost nitric oxide production levels within the body for nasty pumps, we are hoping. Long-lasting pumpage, then into Alpha GPC, 50%, 600 milligrams. A, a decent form of choline for that nootropic focus concentration, coordination, clarity, effort. Good stuff. Good, and then into Tyrosine. Oh, they didn't do the brackets L tyrosine on this Ooh. one. Oh, that's a shame. It's only 500 milligrams. Though. We would have liked to have seen that double, guys, but it's going to work with the Alpha GPC there to really give you some cognition benefits clarity get you in the zone in the gym effectively yeah then into caffeine and hydrous 300 milligrams average dose for today's pre-workouts three cups worth of coffee a strong energy drink you know what it's going to give you the stimulation and energy you need to move in the gym nice then to hooperzine a five milligrams 50 micrograms yield a slightly lower dose than we've seen nonetheless it's been dubbed the learning chemical as it helps with brain connectivity neurons firing all of the goodies really that help with the cognition and clarity Nice. Then into black pepper extract, 98% piperine, 5 milligrams. A digestive aid to really bioassimilate these ingredients into the stomach as efficiently as possible. Really get them moving to where they need to go. Lovely, and just when you think it would end there, nice and friendly. Oh no, it's alpha him by 90%, 3 milligrams. This is for us, the standout ingredient. This is going to make the difference of a Stim Junkie pre-workout or not. Three milligrams is a hefty dose, guys. It's a fat burner, but it gives stimulation and powerful energy drives. Now, what we have said is if that dosage is too high, it can come with negatives. The cold sweats, the jitters, the dribbly mouth, the flu-like feelings. Some people love it, some hate it. It's a Marmite ingredient. Three milligrams is a respectable big dose, guys. Is that gonna hold this product back as we move into the effects? Uh -oh. <laughs> So Aaron, did it give you the buzz? Because this pre-workout is claiming improved endurance, laser focus, insane pumps, and supercharged energy. Well guys, let's get into it from the beginning like we always do. We're gonna find out, can it give us the buzz? And you know the drill guys, we blind test this sort of stuff, and what do I mean? We forget the label, we just go by reality in, in the gym and give you our 100% honest feedback. And uh, let's start at the beginning, tell them. So we've used this a few times today with shoulder day as you will have seen. The beta aniline is in there at 3.2 grams and it kicks in strong. We're talking like nine out of 10 on the beta scale. Probably even 10 out of 10, you know, Pushing. it's really tingling all over the body. Yeah. Gives you that really, really good sense of urgency. That's what we really like from beta aniline. You get the odd few that don't like it. And if you don't like it, this probably would be one to avoid. Mm. But if you do like it, you know the reasons why you like it. It gives you that sense of something kicking in, sense of urgency, sense of energy almost, even though it's, it's a placeboic style effect. Mm. What comes in very quickly after is definitely that hit of caffeine and the alpha yimba. Hit, alpha y uh, oh, alpha <laughs> yo -yo yimbine follows. comes in closely behind. What we've said is this is like a double Marmite sandwich because you get people that do and don't like beta, you get people that do and don't like alpha. They're both in here at a very strong feeling dose. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely a Marmite pre-workout. You're either going to love it or you're not. You're just not. For us, honestly, I. I've got to be honest, it's not our cup of tea. Mm. But we say that in a way that we know some people do like cups of tea. We're open-minded, aren't we? Yeah, we are very open-minded. So we're going to give you some examples of pre-workouts this thoroughly reminds us of. Edge of Insanity. Biotech Neutral Crypto, the one we reviewed only the other day. Rhino Rampage. Cocaine or Pure Hype. Pure Hype. Pure Cut Subs. Um, any of those high dosage alpha year himbine. If the alpha year himbine was not in this product, it would be 100% a nice daily driver. Yeah, 100%. Respectable pumps, would be respectable focus, and would be respectable energy. But the alpha year himbine turns this into a stim junkie product. It does, it takes away, it almost takes away from those attributes um, with what you said with it being a daily driver, because it takes the focus off the session onto the survival mode. You know, we're gonna be saying similar things to the crypto review, funny enough. Yeah, high, high, high and heavy heart rate really, really stims you off your nits. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, strong, strong, strong alpha yo feelings. You get the dribbly, you get the jitters, you Clammy. get the, the runny nose, you know, the Dribbles. sense of colds or fevers or flus. Thirsty as hell. Which some people love and some people don't. It mm. really is a going towards the hero lean by Dark Lab style effect. This is the thing with pre workouts that have a dose of. 2.5 milligrams or higher of alpha yo is it takes the forefront of everything yeah it doesn't matter what else is in it to a degree it takes the alpha over. yo is going to be the thing you notice above yeah. everything else it is the brake horse power of this pre-workout yeah. forget the wheels forget the car interior forget the, you know the styling 
it is the fucking engine. It's it is going to really give you the power. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's a strong pre-workout. And for that, the pumps for me were a struggle. And you said yeah. the same because you're. When you're you're like you've got the shakes from the Alpha Yo, so it kind of it takes away, and you're focusing on surviving, breathing gives gives you that shallow breathing. Mm. We've said this is not a pre-workout for a serious athlete or bodybuilder. Reason being is because it's a high stim, high stim junkie, mm. almost inefficient pre-workout. A weight loss style burning through you, sort of. That being said. If you and your friends want something that is going to hit you like a train, mm. this would work. This is something we would give to those friends, and you've all got those friends. I don't feel pre-workout. Give them a scoop of that, They'll and they will it. feel it. Yeah, like yeah. you said, it's a laugh pre-workout. You know, it tastes nice, it looks cool. You know, lads, let's take a pre-workout today and all have a bit of banter. Oh it, my God, this is so strong. And it hits you like a bus. Mm, it is strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, hits you like a buzz. Yeah. It is a strong pre-workout that will take your head clean off should you not give it the respect. It is demanding mm. of that high stim junky category. So let's break it down. It's not for beginners. It's probably not for intermediates. It's for stim junkies, not from a highness perspective, but from a stim perspective. Um, it is solidly in that stim junkie realm, right? It's for someone who does struggle to feel pre-workouts. They want something next level. They want something really strong. This is going to do that. It's going to do that from that alpha himbine alone. Mm -hmm. For us, like I said at the very beginning of this effects section, it's not my cup of tea. I wouldn't use it personally, like I wouldn't use those other pre-workouts yeah. I mentioned on a regular basis. I would take it on a day maybe where I was having a bit of a laugh, meeting up with friends, gonna go absolutely crazy killing the weights, not necessarily going there to, you know, build muscle and all the rest take of it. Seriously, yeah. So um for me, it's a very, very difficult pre-workout to score, and you say the same. It is tricky, because we're in the middle with these kind of alpha yo ones. We love it, we hate it, we're kind of like, oh, I don't know what to say. It's so awkward to, to really give our opinion on. Yeah, it's it comes down to if you've tried those other pre-workouts, and if you know you like them or don't like them, it's going to be the same with this one. Mm. So for us, I don't know. It's so tough. I keep thinking like a five, a six, a seven out of mm. ten just because I know that I wouldn't use it again. But in retrospect, we actually had a good session overall. Like we trained hard, you know, we went to failure. But like Aaron said, from a bodybuilding, muscle building perspective, it's, it's not gonna be the one. And from a health perspective, yeah. it doesn't feel healthy for me. That's mm. the, like, that's hand on heart. Like I wouldn't use this on a daily basis. I'd use, again, like I say, I wouldn't use it at all, really. I'd mm. probably use it maybe once every couple of months sort of mm. thing, just for, like I say, that laugh power factor. So yeah, I, well, I think we're gonna leave it there. I yeah. think we're gonna leave it there and let you guys decide what you think. If you know you want a stim junkie, hard hitting, hardcore pre-workout, this is gonna tick boxes for you. Exactly, because it's gonna be a 10 out of 10 for people that love the alpha yo jittery, crazy feeling. It's gonna be a zero out of 10 for people that don't like any of that. We're kind of impartial. We're like, yeah, it's fun, but not really useful in the middle. Yeah, it's a, a very, 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 very powerful car that has difficulty with traction. Mm. That's yeah, it the, needs some new tyres. That's <laughs> the truth behind it. So, um, yeah, we're going to leave that to your guys' judgment. That's our effects, fully wrapped up, 100% honest, as always. And you know what? Really hope you enjoyed watching. Again, a big thank you, Supplements Chester, for sending it over to us. We really do appreciate it. Brand new product. And by the looks of it, on their Instagram page, there's a new version coming out. Black Limited. Venom or something like that. Yeah, it looks cool. So, um, hopefully, we'll get our hands on that and see if there's a difference. Um, but, yeah, appreciate you watching. As always, guys, stay trimmed, and this will do it. Keep you buzzing for days. <laughs>